It's 11.30. It's Monday. I'm at Walmart. I gotta make some returns. I bought somebody else's returns. I bought some solar lights that had already been returned that didn't work. And I was really mad. They're expensive. But anyways, the um, people with cardboard signs are working the intersection already on Monday. And we had, they passed a law that if you give the panhandlers money, you're the one that gets in trouble <laughs> instead of them. Yeah, so they, their cart pusher out here is wearing a tank top and shorts. <laughs> they can wear what they want now. Decided not to come up here on Saturday and Sunday anymore. Not real fond of the long lines and crowds. It's bright and sunny and humid. I'm not sure what temperature it is right now. But my mom and I are going to go to the Greek festival this Saturday. But unlike any good Greek who wants to party all night long, she wants to go in the morning at 11 o'clock. As you can see there, oh, fish are good. Got the he's going in the garden gate. Yeah, I asked them last week, said they could wear whatever they want. All right, y'all. Bye. I don't usually buy a lot of food in Walmart, I just essentials like coffee and stuff. But they, um, they had avocados for 88 cents, so I did buy, buy the avocados. And getting ready to run around to the pet food. I've made so many videos in Walmart that I haven't uploaded to y'all because I was having problems um, exporting them and uploading them with the internet being so crazy. But yeah. I'm over here at the closeout rack again. They still got all those cans of beans which y'all didn't get to see because I didn't upload that. Look at that, There's saffron now, $13.80. You know that's the regular price for saffron. Ginger, tarragon, cloves, regular prices, paprika. Oh, black walnut extract. Oh, black food coloring, never mind. Let's see what else is interesting. You know, all these are the regular prices on spices and these beans. Rojo, um, refried beans, the good stuff. Decal. They're not marked down. Same price they were last week. Hmm. That's the thing about the clearance shelf. A lot of times it's not really on clearance. You have to watch it. Alright, moving on. Like they've been having some issues stocking cat food. At this store and others. I'll reach up there and grab some. They're still having problems stocking cat food. This is what my cats eat right here. It must have must have corn in it because obviously they can't keep it on the shelves. It's been going on for a couple of months now. It's a crazy thing. You think by buying this you're saving money because it's in the pack. This uh, fancy feast kitten food. This little can is 64 cents a can now. So, this is 756, and 12 like this is 768. Makes no sense. Not saving any money anywhere. For supper, so this is 36 cents a can, and that's 35 cents a can, and you have to get flavors that they don't like. So, I just pay a little more. Down here on my knees. And, oh, at least they got some. Hungry is having a problem. Honey Bear likes the country stew, which is a beef stew with uh, green beans and peas and stuff in it. 
and they haven't had that for a long time so I had to buy some chicken and rice and some uh, steak and vegetable I don't know maybe they just changed the name of it because this has they used to call it country stew and this has this has carrots and peas in it so maybe it's the same but I noticed that pedigree has gone down to 68 cent a pound I mean a can and that Alpo which is the cheap cat cheap dog food has jumped up to 78 way back over to the grocery I don't need anything because I gotta get some tea celestial seasonings tea I don't buy paper products and stuff at Walmart they're cheaper at my IGA so I guess I got two bricks of Cafe Bastello. I guess while I'm here, I'll buy some more. Can't run out of coffee. That's what I run on. No, excuse me, chomping. Let's see. Thinking about some olive oil. It's expensive. Well, this is only $7. It says treat a bottle on it. Extra virgin olive oil, treat a bottle. Product of Spain. We'll try that. Mm -hmm. I'm on the wrong aisle. <laughs> I don't need anything over here. Let me see. Alright, I'm going to turn y'all around. Black pepper must be a high price commodity because I am always running out of ground black pepper. That's what the canned goods section looks like. Looks pretty good. Canned vegetables. I got some holes, but not too bad. I mean, we did just have hurricane predictions, so that's probably got something to do with it. Maseka is still cheap. You can get 10% more. Get this 4.8 pound bag for $2.88. Make all your own tacos. Tortillas. Hmm. Yellow three holes. seen yellow beans before. I think they got plenty of rice. Oh, rice has jumped up a little bit. On the bottom shelf of their very small international food section, I do know for a fact that this is really good coconut milk. I use that a lot. But then see they've got some uh, Filipino sardines, Argentinian corned beef, um, cured beef, it says on the front. And that's $5.77. And then here's New Zealand premium quality corned beef. And that is $5.86. Right, so sometimes if you look in the international section, um, you can find some deals, although that seems a little high, but then again, corned beef is really high. And we'll see how much that is. 11 ounces, less than a pound. Ooh, and some lychees. I don't really care to buy Polar brand. But I found this. All y'all who are keto, but I picked it up because it says Masha. Because I like strong things and I like strong tea. So I figured that matcha might give me a kick. And let's say that is a dollar forty-six. Excuse me. Sorry. You're right. <laughs> YouTube videos, you know how it is. Okay. Ask for assistance with top shelf items. I never do that. I just knock stuff down. 
All right, so I need to restock. I've got a lot of tea, but what I need is tension tamer. Look, I need stuff to build me up and stuff to knock me back down. And hold on, I'm gonna step back. I'm not seeing any tension tamer. Looks to me like they're putting some new stuff out that I don't want, like ginger and probiotics. Honey vanilla, that's not good. Don't try that one. This is my favorite. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Well, if I have to, I can go to Yogi or uh, Tezo is good too. All right, let's see what this one is. Stress support, Clementine, oranges, ashwagandha, lemongrass, cinnamon, lemon balm. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Ginger, rubius, stevia, orange peel, and cloves. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll get a box of that. And let's see what's in this one, bedtime. Licorice, chamomile, spearmint, skull cap, cardamom, cinnamon, rosehip, lavender, and stevia. Okay, don't want that. Stick to my sleepy time. What I was actually looking for was Celestial Seasonings Tension Tamer. It's really good. It's got a great kick to it. And it does. If you're just jittery and stuff, it knocks you right down. Not seeing it. Dip it in here. Again, some more Cafe Bastillo. It's Cafe Espresso. That's what I drink. $2.88 a brick. Crazy price on this. It's a little teeny pack of uh, apple cider vinegar powder with pomegranate and hibiscus, 10.46. Oh, it's little packets. That's insane. People get anything. You can get hibiscus tea, like I got right here, for $3 for a whole box of tea bags. Reduce section. What's that? Italian white bean with farro meal starter. Shrimp scampi whole wheat and couscous. Got plenty of that. Milk, carnation milk, budge mix. It's not marked down. Special K with yogurt. Not marked down. You can get some Krispy Kreme latte shots for $1.50. That's interesting. Let's see. $6. $4 for mint, $3 for cumin, $3 for ginger, same thing as the other shelf. Malta meal. <laughs> Better eat your maple. Miss Fiernell Brunswick stew. Now this is a cool thing. I have a story about this. My doctor in Virginia, who's now passed, this is all he would feed his dogs. And this is like almost $4 a can. Yeah, that was in Virginia. Made in the USA. This is Miss Fear now, so this is some good stuff here. This Brunswick stew tastes like Brunswick stew. All right, Sam's Choice spaghetti with tomato basil sauce. It's almost like a half a cup. There's two servings in here, so there's a cup for $1.25. Spaghetti and sauce in a box. It'd be great to take out of the box and pack in your backpack if you're camping. Uh, let's see. Chicken wonton, that's not really reduced. More coffee shots. Salmon 388 a can, black top, that's the same price it normally is. Yeah, pretty much everything here is the same price it really usually is. Hey all, I didn't even know Walmart had this. They have a reduced frozen section. Amy's Pizza looks like mostly good organic stuff in here, it's marked down. Got um, cornmeal stuffing, cornbread stuffing, two pounds for $1.69. You can get you some chicken thighs and a can of cream of mushroom soup and some broccoli and put this underneath. Cook your chicken and put this on put the chicken on top of this and put it in the oven with some cream of mushroom, some broccoli, and some cheddar cheese and you got a meal. And they got a bunch of fancy stuff like chicken marinara starter, Hawaiian grilled chicken bowl. 
free stuff, free calendars, chicken and rice. That's not that much cheaper. I didn't know they had a frozen uh, produce section out of there. And I'm not, the cool pop machines are down there, way down there. But they got Dr. Pepper, Mellow Yellow, Cherry Coke, stuff like that in here. So you can grab me one because it's kind of hot. And they did real good today. Um, last Sunday I came in here and I had a couple of over rings on my receipt that added up to like 30 bucks. So that's why I had to come here today was to get my money back. And I bought that solar light for $25 and I think it had been returned. Let's see if we can get this dollar bill to go in. Let's see. I can't believe it. It stayed in. So what should I get, y'all? This machine. Uh, sometimes Dr. Pepper, sometimes Mill Yellow. I think today. Hello, Yellow. yellow today. Mellow yellow. All right, y'all. I'm out. Bye-bye. Making a deposit. And the dudes are down the street uh, with the excavator cutting up the road and doing asphalt. You guys don't know how crazy that makes me smell an asphalt. I want to, I want to rake asphalt so bad. <laughs> I'm always paranoid. I'm always looking in all my mirrors around me at the drive through But yeah, I miss it. I used to be uh, the fuel truck operator. I'd fuel all the equipment in the morning and when I was in Virginia and also the roller operator and also the water truck operator. And when I was younger, when I was in my 30s, I used to rake and loom and brush, broom. And... Uh, and I also used to run the jackhammer. But yeah, I can't do that stuff now. When I moved to North Carolina in 2003, I, I kind of got out of construction and got into retail. Yeah, but I'll show you those guys when I go by. I'm stopping. Oh, I'm slowing. I'm stopping. He changed his mind. That's what that fist means. Yeah, I do love road work. Breaking the asphalt. I love that stuff.